Hi everyone, Gridlock Cosplay here. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Movi Voice Recognition and Voice Synthesis module. Now, several weeks ago, I entered a contest on the Arduino Facebook group, and uh, the challenge was to describe how you would use one of these voice recognition, voice synthesis boards in any of your projects. So I described how I would uh, integrate it into my powered workloader costume that I'm building right now. Because it has a big control panel, it'd be nice to be able to, to give voice commands instead of have to push all of those buttons. And I was named one of the winners. So on behalf of the group, the company that manufactures these boards sent me one of them. I think that's what this is anyway. It'd be embarrassing if I wasn't, because I haven't even opened it yet. I did some research on it, and uh, I found that the Arduino Mega was the best one to use with it. So, I put in an order, and they just arrived today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unbox them, I'm going to put them together, and try a couple of tests. All right, here we go. This is my first look at the actual board. It has an SD card in there. Wow. This is my first look at an Arduino Mega as well. I've read about it, but this is the first I've actually seen it. This goes on to there somehow. That makes sense. I'm not actually going to put it in all the way because I need to program the board first before I hook it up. That seems more wise. I'm going to get the library for this thing, for this thing, and uh, see what we can make. All right, with this being the first time that I am programming my Mega, just got to test it to make sure that it's working. And it is. I also found myself an old power adapter. It is 12 volt at one amp, and that's working too. Because the Movi board is such a high powered processor, it needs a lot of power. And so the, um, the USB from the computer is not enough to power the Arduino and the Movi. So that's why you have to have an external power supply for it. All right, let's get going on the real point of this video. There are a lot of pins to put into here. A little bit concerned about the SD card touching the USB, but I think it'll work anyway. Okay. One thing that I had forgotten about was that I needed an external speaker because there is no speaker on the Movi board. There's a mic, but no speaker. So I have it plugged into the headphone jack here. I'm going to upload my program here now. I am calling it P5 because this is going to be on the P5000 eventually. And just for testing the LED, I have a phrase, give me some light and shut down now. And then it responds with, there you go and good night. So now I'm going to plug it in. Moby is loading a new call sign. Please do not unplug the power. Trading finished. Unplugging is safe. One moment, please. Moby is loading new sentences. Please do not unplug the power. Trading finished. Unplugging is safe. One moment, please. Moby is ready. The call side is P5. <laughs> P5, okay. P5, give me some light. There you go. Thank you. P5, nice. Shut down now. The simplest thing, and there we have it. P5, give me some light. There you go. P5, shut down now. Good night. The possibilities. <laughs> All right, so I just went Trading on. Finished. Unplugging is safe. 
One add, moment, please. I added another thing here for strobe effect and ready. The call side is beefed. <laughs> to make a strobe effect. Alright. What are my sentences again? Okay. P5. Give me some light. There you go. P5. Shut down now. Good night. P5. Strobe effect. Now, the same phrase turns it off. P5. Strobe effect. Okay, the movie board. That's all for this video. Uh, I am going to be doing a whole lot of other stuff with this because I have my control panel. <laughs> my control panel for the the, uh, the powered work loader for P5. <laughs> and there you go. All of these buttons, oh, it just turned the light on for me. All of these buttons are going to be connected, but now I'm going to be able to put them into the Arduino Mega and uh, have voice commands as well as button commands to change the outputs. So I'm excited about starting that. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.